Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Now this is just my thoughts and opinions on a recently purchased tactical pen. I've not been paid by the manufacturer or the retailer to review the product. I did buy it with my own money, but I will put a link at the bottom of the screen to where I purchased it from. And if you're in the market for a tactical pen, <coughs> um, then feel free to check the company out. As I say, they offer a good range and a good service. So again, this is just my thoughts and opinions on the Uzi Model 2. Now the pen itself is made out of um, light aircraft aluminium. As I say, it feels sturdy. The finish is very nice. There's no uh, rough bits, sharp bits, any burr. You know, it's well put together. The colour finish on this is gunmetal. You can get um, black as well. And I like the mechanism on it. It's very smooth. You just twist to open and twist to close. I think it's worth noting that uh, when it is closed, the thread is a decent size, so there's no movement, and you have to unscrew quite a long way for it to actually open. Now you can do that so you can take out the, the refill. So there's a little refill in there which is um, based on a Parker, it's a ballpoint. You can get a right and uh, I beg your pardon, a Fisher space pen right anywhere refill to fit these as well. So you can buy that separately if you wish and then you could, your pen can write anywhere. A little O-ring on there, I'm not quite sure what that is for. I presume it's something to do with the sealing around the mechanism. But uh, I'll just screw that back together again. There we go. Now so the finish is very nice. It has a little bit of knurling there to provide a bit of grip and a bit of detail and an oversized pocket clip. So when you're putting it in your shirt pocket or coat pocket it rides nicely. It doesn't um, slip and this is not rough so it doesn't cause any problems with your material. Um, I don't think you should I haven't noticed any wear on any of my clothes from carrying the pen. At the end of the pen is the glass breaker. Now this is a carbide tip and the idea being that in an emergency you can strike the window of the vehicle that you're in, the window will break and you can safely exit the vehicle. So it's ideal for emergency, not just if you are driving but also if you're a passenger in a vehicle or you use public transport it could be an ideal uh, um, safety feature and an ideal thing to carry. People do sometimes say that you can use these for self-defence. My thoughts on it are this. The pen is advertised as a pen. It clearly states on the packaging that it is a glass breaker. It is up to the individual what they see fit to use this item for. My purposes of carrying it are as this is a nice pen and it's very durable. So I'll leave that to yourselves to uh, um, make your own judgments for that. As I say, I'm not a lawyer, um, but I don't think that based on everything, this would fall foul of uh, UK law. The weight of it is balanced when you're writing with it, and uh, you know it's not stupidly big either. It's um, if I just put it on there, six inches, give or take, which is uh, about 15, 15 centimeters, just over, yeah, 15.5 centimeters. And the nice thing about that is that it will fit in my pouch, my EDC pouch. Now this is a separate review, um, I'm not going to get into that now, but uh, that fits in there perfectly and it will actually uh, zip up without any problems whatsoever. Now, it's not too heavy when you write with it, so we'll just give you an idea of how uh, heavy it is. Uh, 1.6 uh, ounces, which equates to 4.5 grams, so not overly heavy. There we have it. That is the Uzi pen. Um, I'd say it's worthwhile checking uh, these guys out. I'll put the link at the bottom of the screen. Um, we'll just have a look at its uh, writing. I say this is a writing rain pad, but it really doesn't make any difference. It's just the pad that I had there at the time. So uh, there we go little bit of uh, end credits for you as well so thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, this video on the my thoughts on the Uzi model number two uh, if you have any suggestions or questions or comments feel free to put them at the bottom of the screen um, if you like the video and you want to see some more from this channel then uh, click the subscribe um, button as well and uh, thank you very much for watching folks so uh, I'll see you soon take care